Shut up and sit down. Ahoy, it's Dave Landau, and you're watching Andy Smith, the coolest comic book creator around. Just ask his mom. I have. All hail Comics Gate! Bam! Ba Bam! Bam! Well, hello everybody. How are you? I figured I'd pop in real quick, do a little unboxing for you. I got two things. One is in the title, Encore Silver, The Art of Liam Sharp. This is a three book thing he's doing. I already got the first one, which was gold, silver, and I just backed bronze. So I'm excited to get that and a special. What could this be? Stay tuned and find out. All right, let's unbox this sucker first. Hope everybody's ready for the holidays. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. I feel like I'm opening a Christmas gift early. Woohoo! And I've got a knife in my hand. Hopefully I don't hurt myself. Because I'm used to pencils and they're dull. Knives are sharp. Like Liam Sharp. Oh, see what I did there? A little uh, play on words. Guys, go check out Cordrath The Reckoning live on Indiegogo. Link in the description below. Or you can go to Cordrath.com and uh, you can check it out there. Ooh, it's all wrapped nice and tight. Here it is. I've been waiting for this. Dun, dun, dun. Nothing else in the box. Chuck the box to the side. Nice envelope he's got it in. Oh, look at this. Coming May 2023, uh, Caged Aurora. So a new project from uh, Liam. And on the back, it says, Coming to Audible, God Killers, narrated by Ian Shaw. So I guess this is uh, like a novel or something he wrote. So that's cool. Uh, let's just look at this. Exclusive sneak peek. Oh, is this a novel? Uh... It, I guess it is. I thought it might be a comic, but it's, uh, yeah, it looks like a novel. So look at that. So uh, Ian's writing novels, it looks like. It's even in brown paper. Oh, yeah. Oops. I shouldn't crumple stuff before. Okay, nothing else in there. Here it is. Encore Silver, The Art of Liam Sharp. Look at that. Nice. Black and white. I think. Oh. Nice little trading card right there. And. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, this is all just black and white work. So the first book he put out had a lot of full color stuff. 
This is a lot of his uh, black and white stuff. So uh, I'll show you some of it. I obviously don't want to ruin it. Maybe, maybe I'll do a book look uh, of this. And so, of course, there's an introduction uh, by Liam. Wow, the introduction is back from 2021. But it is. It just shows a lot of his black and white work in here. Um, I'm a big fan of Liam's black and white stuff. I like his color stuff. I like his computer art as well. Um, his computer art, I think, is really cool. Um, it's, it, you know, I will say I do like this stuff because it's more traditional storytelling. Um, he just had that book come out through Image, which I'm blanking on the name. If you know it, throw it in the comments. I don't even want to get it wrong. And it was a very nice looking book. Um, it, that's a cool Batman right there. It's a nice looking book. Um, let me close something down here. See if that kills a glare. Some, yeah, it does a little bit. It's just my lights. Oh, there you go. Uh, so the book through image Starhenge might be the name. I'm, I apologize if I'm getting the name wrong. Uh, I think it's a really nice looking book. However, uh, it's just, it's not the traditional storytelling. It is a panel book, you know, sequential art, but it's more like each drawing is a nice illustration unto its own. So compared to panel to panel storytelling, like his Green Lantern stuff was. And that's, that's the stuff I really dig. Um, he did go crazy on some of this Green Lantern stuff. Look at the detail in that. Just, just crazy. So yeah, uh, I'm going to be looking through this book. This is Encore, The Art of Liam Sharp. Basically, like I said, he's doing gold, silver, and then bronze. So gold he put out first. Now uh, silver, and then bronze is the third book, which ships in April. I heard he, Liam's moving back to the UK. So, uh, you know, good for him. I think he said he was here for like 10 years. So anyhow, that's that. Looking forward to getting it. What is this? Whoops, I don't want to show anybody's address. I'll show you who it's from. Uh, Freddie Williams. So what could Freddie, what, what could I have bought from Freddie Williams? Let's find out together. Oh, yeah. Nice Gemini mailer. That's what I like to see. Very good tape job. Always important. I always try and do a nice tape job. One thing I like that he has that I think I might buy a bunch of for when I fulfill Cordrath is a handle with care fragile. I like that and I like the do not bend. So I might have to invest in both of those type of things. Um, he put this up for sale on his uh, website. He showed it on Facebook and I was like, oh yeah, I need that. Send that to me. So I just bought it. Nothing else in here. Nope. And guys, I make no bones about it. I uh, I reuse Gemini mailers I get from people. So I just put my sticker right over top. So this baby, if you order something from me, you might be getting this Gemini mailer with one of my labels on it. No reason to waste them. So this is what I got. Let me take it out of the bag. Ooh, a little certificate of authenticity right there. So Freddie Williams, if you don't know, did a lot of crossovers. He did Batman, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, did three miniseries with them. He did He-Man, Masters of the Universe uh, versus the Injustice League. Great. And then one of my favorites was He-Man versus the Thundercats. Holy crap. It was classic He-Man. So he was going to do this one book he was telling me about and they canceled it and I couldn't believe they canceled it and it was oh, this breaks my heart they canceled it but I'm glad he put this book out He-Man Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the crossover that almost was 64 page square bound sketchbook and on the back look at that beautiful homage he did right there uh, let's see uh, if I can get in a little closer on this 
I've got this new camera that I can play with. Oop, that might be too close. Did it move? Oh, it did. So look at that. Just look at that. I want to zoom in closer. Let's see what happens when I do this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Total homage to the Walt Simonson Teen Titans X-Men meeting up. Just love it. Total, total homage right there. Love that. So let's look at a little bit of this, shall we? Ooh, woo. Let's, uh, let's see. Yes, you're seeing my big face, but it's because I want to show you guys this nice and close up. HD digital camera. I probably will do a book look of this and link to the website so you guys can go buy it. I'll put a link in the description below as well so you guys can check it out. Look at that. I love Freddie's work. Um, it's really a shame this book didn't see fruition. Um, oh, he even has a timeline in here of uh, the events and how it went down. Uh, look at, oh man, just look at that. Let me back the camera up just a little bit. I know, you're like, don't back it up, Benny. We like your face. Oh, my wife likes my face too. Look at this cool stuff right there. Very cool. Just character sketches. I'm flipping pa two pages at a time because I don't want to ruin anything for my uh, myself as I look through it. So... Very cool. Freddie does great production value when he puts these books together. Oh, look at this. Uh, I don't know what turtle it is, but he's riding Battle Cat, baby. Yeah. Right there. So, yeah, so I'll, I'll link this to his website. Like I said, I'm just kind of bouncing through this quickly because I want to sit down and enjoy it. Read through it. But uh, let's see what's on the very last page. Oh, I want, let's see, Last Ronin. Oh, he did a cover homage for The Last Ronin. Very cool. I like The Last Ronin. I thought the art was really cool. I think Freddy would do a great one. Um, I know Freddy's part of the comics elite. And uh, I got to be honest, I, I, I hope he gets back. I like his superhero stuff. Cool, cool book right here. The crossover that almost was. I am going to do a book look for you guys of this at some point. So there you have it, guys. Uh, like and subscribe to my channel if you would. And uh, before I run out of here, I mentioned Cordrath. And uh, let's, uh, let's just do this real quick. So you can go to www.core draft like it's spelled with the dash between core and draft whoa oh i did it wrong i was like it says site can't be reached and that's because i did four w's instead of three all right let me uh let me just show you guys the core draft site there is the core draft site let me uh let's see let's do this there we go so cordraft.com, go check it out. You can play the video, you got write up, play around on the site, meet the guys. The guys are Dennis and I. Look at that, co-creator, artist, me. Dennis there, looking snazzy. Uh, you can hit the like button, the share button, tweet, follow. Uh, if you wanna order the book, just click order now. It'll open a new window and take you right to the campaign page. So you can order the book. Some things on the site that aren't on the campaign page, you're like, oh, I really want to read the first eight pages. Well, guess what? Boom. You can. There it is. Page one of Core Draft. Two and three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. So, yeah, you can go in and read it. Some of these pages are on the campaign. This one, for instance, isn't. Oh, that guy's got a splitting headache. <laughs> oh, I should be a comedian. Um, 
course, we've got characters here. So you can click on and see this. Uh, this is readable on screen. Ooh, let's see. Do that. Oh, yeah, nice and readable on screen. Let's go through, see the characters and such. Uh, what else is on the site? The role-playing game. I've got to add something to this page that I forgot. I didn't forget. It's just we have the inside front cover and inside back cover, which are like these diagrams of a cave, which are very uh, retro. So you can check that out. Of course, playable characters here. Each one of these opens up so you can read their stats and stuff bigger. These are free with the campaign. If you order, you'll get this one and Adriana. And then the next one, Lilaneth, is a stretch goal we have yet to reach, but we will. And when we do, everybody will get this as well, 7 by 10 Then after Lilaneth, Necronite gets the card. So that'll be cool. Uh, the Shattered Reach map, a little bit bigger than the one on the campaign, so you can see it bigger. So that's, uh, that's cool. And uh, last but not least, you know, I wanted to show people what the black, white, and raw interiors would look like. I will be doing some commentary on some of these pages. But these are the raw scans uh, of the books. So you can see blue line and stuff and white out and such. So this is, this. it's literally like holding the original art in your hands in book form. Uh, if you know what the IDW Artist Edition is, you'll know what this is. So uh, go check this out as well so you can see some interior pages from the book as well. Uh, this is one of my favorites right here. Drawing that big Weverin dragon. So, uh, so yeah, go check that out. And uh, thank you guys for all your support. I couldn't have done this without you. We are still gaining backers, 1,160 backers. Let's keep it going. Tweet it, share it, love it. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. And I will catch you guys uh, maybe before 2023. But if not, Happy New Year, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you.